Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $100,130.71. In the past year I am up $22,408.69. Year to date for the year 2024 I am currently up $8,921.59. Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $1,028.13. After hours, I am down $187.99. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, I am down $45. I'm selling Disney $100 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return $5.01. I'm selling PayPal $60 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, I am down $24. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, I am down $120. I'm selling Disney $90 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, $94. I'm selling SoFi six and a half dollar puts these expire august 9th my total return i am down 18 dollars i'm selling google 210 dollar covered calls these expire december 20th my total return 694 dollars i have mcdonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $740. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $30. I have Verizon, $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $353. I have Verizon, $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $150. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $183.35. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $25,323.80. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.35. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $10,420.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $92.01. My average cost, $60. My total return, $9,603. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $169.36. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,682. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $58.84. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $228.
This is a margin account. My margin total is $89,141.18. My margin used is $50,517.38. My options collateral is $32,900. This leaves me with $5,723.80 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $30,843.68. This is how much more money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $9.32. And I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. So my portfolio is back above 100K again, although it's hovering up and down. Even during the beginning of this video, while I was talking about how, how much money I made, it was going above 100K, it was going below 100K. It's really unstable right now. But anyways, today at least is a green day, so I made over $1,000 today, so that's good. Something of note is McDonald's. I do have spreads with McDonald's. I don't have the actual stocks. The underlying shares but i do have my spreads and mcdonald's performed really well today they were up 3.76 percent during the day and they actually reported their earnings so for quarter two 2024 the estimated was three dollars and seven cents per share the actual was two dollars and 97 cents per share so they actually missed on earnings, but uh, if you read this article here from Yahoo Finance, this article says McDonald's is a historic value leader. So in this article, they say that McDonald's reported disappointing second quarter earnings, missing estimates on both the top and bottom lines. Jeffrey's managing director of equity research Andy Barish joins market domination to discuss his outlook on the company. Barish notes that expectations were pretty low going into the quarter. However, he says management sounded very good in terms of their confidence and tone about plans to re-establish value leadership and improve transactions and same-store sales going forward globally. He mentions that the recently introduced $5 meal deal is starting to gain some traction reflecting McDonald's history as the everyday value leader. Regarding the consumer spending slowdown, Barish told Yahoo Finance, it's definitely not just a McDonald's specific issue, it is not just a restaurant specific issue, it's across all of consumer. However, he states, this is not new. So, the thing is, McDonald's, they are a good value if you use the app. I would say they're very app dependent. Now, yeah, you can get the $5 meal deal and other things like that, um, you know, in person when you order without the app. But really, the magic of McDonald's and their value is using the app and using the, the deals that are on the app. You gain points also. Um, I use the app all the time to order the, the deals and get rewards and use my points. So. Really, if you do use the McDonald's app, that's where you're going to get the best value out of their, their deals. But yeah, um, without the app, their normal prices, oh my goodness, they are a bit pricey for fast food. Um, definitely not something I would consider super cheap um, without the app rewards. Now, again. In order to get the most value out of McDonald's food, you have to use the app and save tons of money. There's deals on there like, you know, get 50% off chicken nuggets or get free medium fries with a minimum $2 order. Like there's things like that, right? You either get free stuff or you get like a discount on stuff. A lot of deals on the app. Anyways, that's all I have to report. A lot of my positions are expiring this Friday, which is the 2nd of August. So I'll have to decide what I want to do 
after those expire. So Amazon $200 covered call, Disney $100 covered call, PayPal $60 covered call, and SoFi $9 covered call. So four different covered call positions expiring this Friday. Some of them report. I believe PayPal actually reports tomorrow before open. So if I click on here, scroll down, it should say when they're expected to report. Yeah, available today pre-market. So before the market opens, the estimated is going to be 89 cents per share. So let's see how PayPal does. Um, hopefully it's good, but to be honest, I do have covered calls at a pretty close strike price to where the share price is right now. I chose a strike price of $60 and right now PayPal is at $58.70, so pretty close actually. But we'll see how they perform during their earnings. Alright, I'll keep on making more of these videos and share with you my updates on how these positions perform. but. For now, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content, you guys want to see more portfolio updates in the future, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.